Lisa will be presenting recommendations on energy um, audits for agriculture in New York State and NYSERDA incentives that are available to you if you pay a systems benefit charge on your electric bill. You can contact Valerie Dudley at Cooperative Extension in Delaware County to schedule a free energy audit for your home or your agricultural business. And now to introduce Lisa Coven. Uh, Lisa grew up in Maryland, the state of Maryland and worked on her family greenhouse business before moving to Vermont to attend college. With her roots in agriculture, she quickly became involved in the Intervale Center working on local food systems. After receiving her master's degree in environmental law, she spent a decade managing ag and conservation lands. And now Lisa is supporting agriculture producers all over the country to reduce operating costs by becoming more energy efficient. So thank you, Lisa, for being with us today. And I'm going to ask you uh, to start your presentation. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. I'm just going to share my screen here with you folks. Uh, to get started, I just want to say thank you for taking the time today to come and join me and learn about energy audits, uh, energy efficiency, uh, and incentives and rebates that are available out there. Uh, I am actually a contractor for NYSERDA. I work for a company called NSAVE. Our headquarters are based out in Vermont. Uh, however, uh, NSAVE is a nationally recognized uh, leader in agriculture energy. Uh, we are considered uh, the experts and we work all across the country with all different types of farms and organizations uh, promoting energy efficiency programs and projects. Uh, we do also work on renewable projects as well. Uh, we've been working with NYSERDA for almost 20 years now. Uh, prior to uh, managing their audit program, we also ran several energy efficiency programs. So in March of 2016, NYSERDA launched the uh, Agriculture Energy Audit Program, and uh, they are offering no-cost energy audits. Uh, this is actually pretty important. Uh, uh, Fact to know that there will be uh, no bill associated with this energy, uh, no out of pocket costs, uh, no upfront costs. Uh, in actuality, uh, you have prepaid for this audit through your SBC payment. Uh, and so, uh, as the program manager, I have been uh, managing the program since its launch, uh, and I work the entire state. Uh, so, I'll come down to Delaware County and I'll also go all the way out to Erie County. Uh, so anywhere in the state of New York. However, we do not cover uh, LIPA or Long Island. Uh, they have their own program. Uh, so how can an audit help me? Uh, well, your audit is the first step uh, that, uh, that someone takes. I might have skipped a... Sorry, I did, pardon me. Um, uh, an agriculture energy audit provides substantial information on your current operations, including an inventory of all your stationary equipment and an energy evaluation of that equipment with recommendations if you're interested in making upgrades to become more energy efficient or uh, install renewable upgrades. These recommendations will include cost estimates and paybacks to help you make informed decisions about your next equipment purchase and where your farm is going in the future. So whether you're interested in installing energy efficiency equipment or renewables, the energy audit is definitely the best step that you can make, your first best step that you can make for making long-term uh, decisions. And as you can see uh, in our energy pyramid here, your energy analysis or your energy audit uh, should be your first step before you make any other moves. Uh, your energy audit is really going to let you know which equipment uh, is viable to replace and how you can become more efficient and what that would look like. Um, a lot of times I like to think of an energy audit as a roadmap. Uh, and so this roadmap will lead you into the best decisions that you can make uh, with the most solid infrastructure available. Uh, and within that energy audit, you'll get a detailed and uh, 
analysis of your energy usage uh, broken down. This is an example of a dairy farm, uh, but this can relate to just about any uh, farm out there. Uh, and this is really great information because uh, what you can see here is, wow, they're spending a lot of money on water heating. Uh, and, you know, that would be a really good first uh, attack into your water heating systems to understand why is it costing you so much and what you could do. Uh, and if you could significantly reduce that, it will equate to significantly reducing your operating costs. Uh, the program uh, offers either a comprehensive audit or a target audit. The comprehensive audits look at the entire operation, whereas a target audit can focus in on a specific system. Uh, you can actually get a comprehensive audit with a target focus. So if you're looking for an overall comprehensive audit of your operation, but perhaps you're also interested in a small wind turbine or maybe some solar or geothermal, you can do that as well all in one audit. Uh, and they will just combine the two reports together to evaluate and look at those all in one fell sweep, which is really nice because then it makes it a much more comprehensive report when you look at everything. Uh, however, some people do just show up for target uh, audits, and that is fine. Uh, target audit is a really good opportunity if you have a specific piece of equipment, uh, say you're looking at a chiller or a ventilation system, or uh, control systems for your greenhouses, and that's all you're interested in, we can come in and do a target audit just on that piece of equipment, let you know if you're making the right choice, uh, let you know if there's better choices out there. Uh, so lots of options uh, for you. Uh, and as uh, was stated before, eligibility uh, is uh, with uh, customers of the New York State Investor-Owned Utility Programs that are charging the systems benefit charge. Uh, that being said, I do want to let you know that you just have to pay the systems benefit charge one time within the last 12 months. So if you have a lot of renewables on your farm and you don't tap in to needing uh, to use the um, uh, investor-owned system uh, as often, uh, but at some time in the last 12 months, you need it to full power and whether it was 20 kWh or 800 kWh, the fact that you needed to buy power from them means that you probably paid the system's benefit charge that month, which means that you will actually be eligible for an audit. Uh, so for instance, we have lots of uh, folks that are almost off completely off grid, uh, but you know, every once in a while they do use energy for some reason or another and they are able to get an audit. Um, the farmer commitment uh, is really not that great for the audit, oh, pardon. Uh, you just need to gather your last 12 months of your utility uh, and provide some time to do a walkthrough uh, with the assigned uh, uh, firm. Uh, so um, not a big time commitment and again, there is no upfront cost for the energy audit. You will never see a bill. Uh, the application is really simple. Uh, on the first page of the application here, we are just collecting basic information. Uh, I don't even need account numbers or social security numbers or anything for your tax files. Uh, it's very basic. On the back of the application, it is very explicit that it is very clear that you will never pay for this audit. Uh, it actually uh, states in the uh, blue box here at the top that uh, payment will be between NYSERDA and the firm assigned to you uh, and that you will never see an invoice or a bill. So that is uh, very convenient. Uh, you don't ever have to worry about that. Uh, so everyone is always asking about the process. How long does an audit take? What does it involve? What does it mean to get an energy audit? Well, once your application is confirmed and your SBC payment uh, is also confirmed, uh, you're accepted into the program. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, NYSERDA will assign a New York engineering firm to your farm to do your energy audit. Uh, and this is important to know that this firm is not food safety. This is not a regulatory firm. This is not even the government. This is a private engineering firm that will come to your farm and do an inventory data collection for you. That being said, these energy audits require a site visit. Um, the site visit is the opportunity that all of your stationary equipment will be documented inventoried uh, so that it can be evaluated. Uh, in order to do that, uh, a site visit is required, and I do recommend that 
someone is there with the engineer at that time. CDC guidelines will be followed. Uh, and I just want to be clear that at the time, uh, you know, that you sign up, if you no longer feel safe or comfortable with a site visit, you can postpone your site visits. There are no penalties in this program. If you sign up for an audit and the audit is, is just not a good time for you, you have other things going on, you can actually cancel your audit and sign back up at any time without any penalty. You can also sign up for your audit and let us know that you know you would prefer to take your site visit perhaps in June, and we can just postpone the site visit, keep your uh, application active, and make uh, and have the site visit at your convenience. Um, it's also really important to think about your site visit. Uh, don't uh, set obviously set an appointment when the milk truck might be coming or delivery is coming uh, or there is something else going on the farm depending on the size of your farm will depend on how long the site visit will take. Uh, this is also a really wonderful opportunity for you to talk with the engineer that comes to your site, to your farm, and let them know what your goals are for the future. Uh, if you have specific equipment in mind, you can give that information to the engineer and they can actually evaluate that specific information and let you know if that is the right uh, equipment for you. Uh, we recently had a farmer this past fall that was all set and was about to install a whole new ventilation system with fans and VSDs. However, before he went forward, he was having some doubts. And so he signed up for a target audit. We came in and we did a target audit for this farm and we evaluated the fans. And what the audit identified was that there was a better option fan that he could choose. And while the farmer had set out a budget, so it's understandable why the vendor chose which fan, because uh, it was within the budget, the audit was able to show the farmer that if he put up just a couple hundred dollars more up front, the life cycle savings in the long run would outweigh his decision by so much that he canceled the project and is switching gears to go with the more energy efficient fans, even though his upfront cost might be a little bit more, his life cycle savings uh, for the whole project, I think was double the other fans. Uh, so it was just a no brainer um, that he would be able to save so much more money if he just spent a little bit more. Uh, but he would never would have known that uh, if he hadn't gotten the target audit. Uh, so he was really grateful to receive something, uh, to receive that information. Uh, and, you know, he had a clear choice uh, and he was very grateful. That being said, depending on your time uh, can also depend on how helpful the audit is for you. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, a compressor that breaks down and needs to be replaced right away, I would not recommend waiting for an energy audit as an audit can take up to three to six months. Um, most of the time will depend on farmer availability for, uh, you know, a site visit and how large and what size operation and what kind of operation that you have. Uh, once the uh, report is done, though, a final report is mailed to you. And uh, our assistance doesn't stop there because then we provide uh, my team, myself and my team will provide technical assistance afterwards. We'll actually call you, make sure that you received the audit, ask you if you have any questions about the audit. Uh, this would be a time where we can go over and review any information, clarify anything that you might have questions on uh, as well is this is when I ask the farmer if you are interested in moving forward with any projects uh, and if you would like to talk about potential incentive or rebate programs that might be available. So we offer this assistance to help identify and we just don't identify. We then actually put you in contact with real live people. Uh, we try not to pass on 800 numbers. Uh, so depending on which uh, utility company you are working for, uh, we have a direct contact, a representative that has been identified uh, that works with agriculture. Uh, so that has been really quite handy. Uh, common, oops, sorry, commonly funded energy efficiency measures uh, that I see quite often. Um, uh, obviously LEDs uh, you know, can be a no brainer. Uh, they can save a lot of money. Uh, I know that uh, some of the feedback you get uh, is that there is a loss of heat. Uh, usually that can be uh, made up for in other energy efficient equipment though. Uh, but 
what I like to remind folks is, is while this is an energy audit and it's going to show you all the benefits that you're going to get with energy and cost savings, you also get a lot of other benefits that aren't in the audit, such as an LED light is going to last so long. That means that there's going to be less labor replacing the lights, less labor getting up on the ladder. And of course, you won't have so much uh, uh, so many fixtures to throw away if the fixtures last long. So there are other uh, benefits besides just energy uh, that come along. Uh, installing VSDs on pumps or fans, uh, it's called a control measure. Uh, and uh, control measures get really good incentives and rebates from the utilities. Any way that you can improve an existing uh, piece of equipment or infrastructure to be more efficient uh, gets a really good incentive or rebate. Uh, I have also seen a lot of farmers working on fan projects, uh, getting ready for next spring and summer, uh, hoping to improve their uh, uh, ventilation um, and cow comfort. Uh, ventilation can actually be, be a huge strain on energy. Uh, a lot of times when you need to run your ventilation uh, during the hottest part of the days uh, may incur demand charges, especially if you have commercial accounts uh, because uh, the time of days that you would need a ventilation uh, is also the time of the day when energy is being used the most. And uh, you can see uh, demand charges being incurred uh, from fans. And simply putting on controls and getting high efficiency fans can really reduce your demand charges greatly. Uh, refrigeration upgrades, compressors are, are pretty typical. Again, if your compressor breaks, don't wait for an energy audit. Uh, call your utility right away. Um, you don't need an energy audit to work with the utilities, but the utilities greatly appreciate the energy audit. And given the situation with COVID and the lack of site visits, uh, it's been very beneficial because some of the utilities can use the energy audit as a pre-site visit. Uh, so in other words, they don't need to go out to the farm for a pre-site visit. They can utilize the energy audit. Uh, heat recovery units are very popular. Uh, as I said, scroll compressors with the refrigeration upgrades, uh, ECM motors, uh, temperature controls uh, as well. These are all just uh, equipment that I see regularly incentivized at the utilities. Um, and of course, they're regularly um, recommended uh, for a higher energy efficiency benefit in the audits. Uh, so there's several different uh, opportunities for folks, and I wanted to keep it really broad uh, since we're in the Catskill region. Uh, I've included, I hope, uh, just about everybody's utility company uh, that I could find um, in the area. And NYSEG is in the area, uh, and I'm sorry that I don't have more information for NYSEG's program. Uh, they are just releasing it right now. Uh, so before the end of the month, their new catalog should be available. Uh, they offer uh, commercial and pres uh, excuse me prescriptive and custom projects through their commercial and industrial rebate program. Uh, I've also listed up here for NYSEG customers uh, about the residential agriculture discount. If you have a farm operation and you also have your residents still on your uh, same meter with your farm and you don't require large amounts of energy or three phase, most likely you're still on an ag a residential account. Uh, and if you are, you should really be filling out annually your residential agriculture discount form. If you need more information of this, of course, you can call me. I'd be more than happy to walk you through this. Uh, it's an annual form that you fill out. It gets you a, a re reduced discounted price on your delivery bill. Uh, I have seen rates drop down to four cents per KWH, uh, which is, you know, quite amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way to uh, help you reserve some capital uh, and some expenses to, to do some bigger projects and not be spending it on day-to-day -day energy usage. Um, but as soon as that program uh, opens up, uh, they will have uh, some pretty good availability. Um, they uh, do cover all of those commonly uh, funded measures that I just spoke about, the fans, the scroll compressors, the lights, the timers, um, however, they do rely on the trade ally to complete the application. Um, so NYSEG's program is run through a third party contractor called Franklin Energy. And Franklin Energy really works with the vendors and the contractors in hopes that they will fill out the application. So the application can be a little challenging. I can provide some assistance. Um, 
but uh, we really would need the information from the vendor or the contractor. And I just put that up front because sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenging process, but you should know that if you do go through the program and you get an audit, uh, I will be there to help you through the process uh, and help you communicate and, and help you make sure that you're getting the right paperwork and the right information. Uh, I also wanted to touch on Delaware County Electric Cooperative. Uh, so if you've heard um, several times in this presentation, we've talked about something called the systems be uh, benefit charge. And the systems benefit charge is only uh, um, through the major New York investor owned utilities, not through the co-ops. Uh, so Delaware County Electric Co-op does not uh, put forth the systems benefit charge. And thus, if you are a customer of Delaware County Electric Co-op, I cannot offer you a free energy audit. However, that being said, um, you can still call me. I would still be more than happy to talk with you to try and get you in touch with Delaware County Electric Co Cooperative. Um, I went on their website. They do have a couple of interesting uh, options, nothing too commercial uh, in the uh, way of nice segs program with the CNI. Uh, but there are a couple of opportunities for hot water heaters as well. If you are Delaware County Electric Cooperative, don't think that there is no energy audit options for you. Uh, you can apply for an uh, ag EMP through NRCS through the USDA. Uh, it's a much uh, larger and more encompassing audit, uh, but I highly benefit uh, but it's also beneficial and I highly recommend that if you don't, um, if you're not eligible for the NYSERDA program, uh, they do a cost share too. So I don't believe uh, that the farmer has to actually uh, have too much out of pocket to get an energy, uh, to get an Ag EMP energy audit through NRCS. Uh, as well as uh, I believe that there should be some Central Hudson folks out there. Uh, and Central Hudson, uh, while not as big as NYSEG, also does uh, have an ag representative that is there to help in case you have any questions about the program. Um, and they can actually review your programs uh, or review your projects to see if they would be eligible before you have to start any of your paperwork. Uh, there is a direct install replacement uh, program uh, that I've gotten mixed reviews on. Uh, sometimes uh, that works out well and, and sometimes farmers prefer to choose their own lights. Uh, and in that case, then you can go into a prescriptive or a custom program. Uh, and again, if you're uh, interested in moving forward with Central Hudson and you've gotten an audit, I will have the ability to put you in direct contact uh, with a real live person um, and I won't have to send you to uh, a, a 1-800 number. Uh, NYSERDA also offers several programs. So there is the uh, new construction program that I think that a lot of folks forget about uh, or don't think about uh, for farms, uh, but this program is open to farms and uh, you have the ability to get uh, really good technical advice uh, in the beginnings of your project. Uh, so if you're building a new barn uh, or constructing, uh, you know, a new facility. Um, this would be a great way to just connect with these folks, uh, make sure that uh, any kind of resource is available depending on the size of your project that you're utilizing. Uh, and if you are uh, going for, you know, deep energy uh, savings or zero net energy, uh, there's actually a lot of assistance as well. Uh, so I always like folks uh, to let you know that, you know, if you are going to do a new construction, make sure you uh, reach out to NYSERDA. And for those of you that are NYSEG customers, you should know that NYSEG also supports new construction with agriculture. Um, and so if you are applying for uh, NYSEG, they have an agribusiness uh, side uh, that can help with new construction, can help with infrastructure as well if you need to uh, upgrade your line. Uh, and of course, there's always information about renewable energy and agriculture out there. I'm more than happy to help you out with that. Um, you know, as the years continue to progress here, uh, the incentives and the tax relief does decrease, but options are still available. Uh, I can't be exact, um, it depends on the county. Uh, so I always recommend folks just reaching right out to New York Sun uh, or to NYSERDA 
and I can put you in contact if you want to talk to someone directly to find out what the rates are, um, what the credits and the rebates for your area are. Uh, for farms, um, I always recommend looking into the Energy Storage Incentive Program, uh, which is a really great idea. Uh, they've been doing a lot with safe, uh, safer batteries and safer storage modes um, that you can feel that safe about having on your farm and, and not uh, too worried about the toxicity if something were to happen. Um, but this is also a really great program, uh, especially, you know, it's so important to make sure that either your generator is working or your storage is up and ready to go in case there is a power outage. Uh, and then I do want to make sure that folks know that there are USDA programs out there as well. Uh, the Rural Energy for America program or the REAP program is a really great option for folks that are working on a large project that they're going to do no matter what. If you are part of a agriculture co-op, uh, say you're maybe with one of the milk co-ops or one of the vegetable co-ops of some sort, and there are rules or requirements that you need to meet and you need to install a new project. Uh, and you're going to do it whether you get funding or not, because that's how you're going to hold on to your contract, then REAP is a really good option for you because you can apply for REAP. And once your application is completed and has been accepted, you can actually start your project. You don't have to wait to find out whether you're going to get uh, funding or not. Uh, and so that's really nice so that you don't have to wait and then, you know, you can start your project. And if you happen to get the funding, that's wonderful, uh, you know, great bonus for you. However, you know that you're already doing the project. So if you don't get the funding, you know that you would still be moving forward. Uh, and that being said, our, these audits through NYSERDA can be used for a REAP application. That being said, I'm gonna move over to the NRCS side of the page here and talk about EQIP. As I mentioned before, the Ag EMPs are a wonderful alternative if you don't qualify for a NYSERDA energy audit. Um, so again, this is a cost share program through NRCS um, and it allows you to actually apply for EQIP funding uh, because I wanna be clear at this time, the NYSERDA energy audit, most likely I would say 95% chance will not suffice uh, for EQIP funding. Uh, the requirements uh, in an Ag EMP are much greater, uh, much more expansive than that of a S612 energy audit that is being completed for NYSERDA. They're a little bit different, a little bit more encompassing. Uh, and so if you are thinking that you are going to apply for EQIP funding through NRCS, I would actually recommend that you go through the process uh, and get yourself an Ag EMP. Uh, but don't worry, uh, you know, I'll help you local, I'll help you find your local NRCS staff and, and work with them. Uh, and we can help you get to your Ag EMP that way. Um, so don't think that there aren't options for you if you are with the Delaware County Cooperative Electric uh, or anybody else. Uh, and that pretty much wraps up my presentation. Uh, if you folks have any questions or if I could clarify or continue on anything, I'd Love that opportunity. Um, and of course, my contact information is here uh, if anyone has any questions about any of the programs. Uh, and just to be clear, if you have any questions about the utility programs, um, whether you get an audit or not, um, you can still give me a call. We can still talk. Um, hi, Lisa. That was such a great presentation. Um, really sounds like there's wonderful programs out there for farmers. Uh, I have a question from Kim. It says, does National Grid have similar programs? Oh, yes, they do. And I apologize if there's grid customers out there. Um, when I went through my database, um, I didn't have any grid customers show up. But uh, National Grid actually has amazing programs uh, for ag. Uh, they have a dedicated ag rep um, and they have dedicated agribusiness uh, program as well. Um, and National Grid will actually help you with your application. Uh, they've done wonderful things. Um, I would say that uh, out of the program of, you know, the thousand or so audits that have been delivered, uh, I find them 
most success with the national grid customers when it comes to installing and implementing these upgrades. Um, they uh, are very successful with applying for rebates and incentives. And if you're interested in working uh, with National Grid, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out with me. Uh, I'll make sure there's a rep for the Western part of the state and a rep for the Eastern part of the state. And uh, I will be sure to give you their direct phone number um, so you can talk to them directly. And then Mark asks, can you submit an NRCS project and USD project at the same time? For example, NRCS high tunnel and USDA solar. Uh, yes, you should be able to do that for the for a REAP uh, grant uh, for solar. Um, the other wonderful thing to know also, Mark, is that you can layer utility grants on top of the USDA grants. Uh, so if you were getting a REAP grant for solar, don't forget to check in with New York Sun uh, for incentives and with your utility for incentives. The one thing to make sure uh, that folks forget sometimes uh, about you know, installing some kind of renewables, you always wanna check with your utility to make sure that the infrastructure is in place. If the infrastructure isn't in place for the grid to take the solar back, uh, there becomes some challenges uh, around installing the solar. Um, so there is a little bit of infrastructure that does have to be in place. Uh, not always a problem, but just sometimes depending on, you know, if your farm is a bit remote, you're up the hill with a bunch of single phase, um, that can be hard. And then Mark responds to uh, you, Lisa, by saying one and a half miles from substation. Oh, that should be really good then. You should, you should feel really good about that. Great. So I just want to, again, thank Lisa for her presentation, her um, actually the excellent information and um, being a, a resource for people in this area. Um, we certainly wanna work with Lisa with our Smart Energy Choices Program. We're offering incentives um, from NYSERDA to homeowners. So if you're on a farm, you might wanna look into that as well as a way to save energy. Um, but we definitely have a great team of people. Um, Valerie is um, here at Cooperative Extension, Delaware County, uh, and uh, Lisa. Together, we should be able to help farmers um, make some great changes and save some money. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.